Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Tia Shat California to learn delicious recipes with a healthy twist. Today's video is the continuation of my previous video where I started sharing healthy breakfast ideas. These are family friendly recipes that will help to kickstart your day with energy and flavor. So whether you are looking for healthy quick breakfast idea or high protein vegetarian options, I have got you all covered. There is another good news. Both of these recipes are gluten free. If you are new to my channel, I am Tiyash, a certified health coach live in California and I help people to reach their health goals. My specialty is the weight loss programs for busy professionals. If you have any questions or queries or if you want to know more, you can visit my website for details. I'll give the link in my description box. And Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon for more healthy options and meal inspiration almost twice or thrice a week. Now let's get cooking. Our third healthy breakfast recipe is the protein rich gluten free sandwich. It is vegetarian too. For this we need a cup of chopped beetroot, half cup of chopped onion, 3 tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves, 2 tablespoon of chopped mint leaves, half inch ginger, a cup of green moong sprouts. First, I am going to add a cup of green moong sprouts into the blender jar. Then I am going to add the chopped beetroots ginger and the mint leaves into it. I am not going to add the onions and coriander leaves at this moment. Now it's time to add some salt. I am using the black salt here but if you don't have it don't worry you can use the regular salt that you have. Add salt according to your taste. I am going to make a very simple filling for this sandwich with paneer or cottage cheese. My vegan friend can switch the paneer with tofu. This is the water I got when I strained my paneer. And I am going to use this water to blend everything because this water is highly nutrient rich. My friend, if you make paneer at home, Never throw the remaining water. Use it in different cooking. In Bengali, we call it chanakatar jol. After blending everything together, it looks like this now. Now I am going to add remaining few ingredients. Onion goes first. Then the chopped coriander leaves or cilantro. Little bit of lemon juice. And now I am going to mix everything together. Now it's time to cook the batter. First, I'm adding little bit of ghee in my hot tawa or hot pan. 
and I'm gonna brush the ghee very nicely. Ghee is the clarified butter that I prepare at home. If you don't have it, you can use other kind of cold pressed oil. Now I am going to add nutrient rich sesame seeds for this recipe. I am going to add 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds for each pancake. I am calling it pancake. Yes, from this pancake we will make the sandwich. Now look carefully how I am using the sesame seeds for this recipe. I took 1 teaspoon, added in the pan and then spread it a little bit. Now I am going to pour the batter on the top of it. I am going to make this pancake little thicker so that we can use it as sandwich. The first one is done. I am going to show you the second one too so that you can watch carefully and make your own. The first one is done. Now I am going to show you the second one so that you can understand the technique very clearly. First I added 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds and I am going to spread it with the back of my spoon. It will stick nicely because the pan is already oil greased. Now I am going to add the batter on the top of it. Now they needs to be cooked 2 to 3 minutes on each side. And in the meantime I am going to prepare the stuffing. For the stuffing I have taken 1 cup of homemade paneer. Now I am adding 1 tablespoon of coriander leaves or cilantro into it. I'm adding one teaspoon of chopped onions, half teaspoon of roasted coriander and cumin powder and salt according to the taste. My pancakes looked well cooked from one side now. Now it's time to flip them so that both the sides can be well cooked. My pancakes are ready now. Now we are going to assemble them as sandwich. This looks kind of pita bread. So I am going to use hummus here to use as a spread. If you don't have hummus, you can use green chutney too. That is another healthy option. First I am going to spread the hummus very nicely on one side of the bread now I am going to add the stuffing that I already prepared with paneer in the middle of it and again I am going to spread it nicely Now I'm going to add another piece of pancake on top of it and press it gently. Our sandwich is ready now. We can call it healthy, protein rich, gluten free pita bread sandwich. Before serving, just cut it into two pieces and serve it with green chutney. It doesn't only look tempting, it tastes delicious too. And very easy to make, isn't it my friends? If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up in the comment section. Mm. Here comes our fourth healthy breakfast recipe. You can call it healthiest beetroot tikki or even you can make it as bagel and make a healthy sandwich out of it. It is totally gluten free, high protein and vegetarian option. 
and the interesting part is we are going to use the same batter that we used in the previous recipe so if you can make the batter and keep it in the fridge you can use it twice in a week this is the batter that we used in previous recipe we just need to add few more ingredients for this recipe we are going to use chopped onion coriander roasted cumin and coriander seed powder little bit of chili powder that is optional according to your taste and we are going to use half cup of chickpeas flour or besan and also one cup of paneer or cottage cheese my vegan friends you can replace the paneer with tofu please do not add any water and mix everything together now you can shape them according to your choice with the help of your palms i shaped them kind of like donut or bagel shaped and i sprinkled some sesame seeds on the top and made a hole in the middle with the help of the back of my spoon it's time to flip yes the back side is well cooked now Now my another healthy breakfast is ready and served. It is gluten free because I have not used any flour inside it. It is high protein recipe because I have used green mung sprouts and paneer into the batter and also chickpeas flour or besan. Now I'm going to make a breakfast healthy burger or healthy bagel sandwich out of it. For this, first I have taken two patty. Now I'm going to spread some hummus on the top of it. Hummus is also full of protein. If you don't have hummus you can skip that one Now I am going to add some green chutney on the top of the hummus to give it extra little flavor and taste If you make healthy food tasty then only it can be sustainable Now I'm adding the vegetables. I'm adding some cucumbers. Some tomatoes. And some onions. Now I'm adding some cilantro or coriander leaves for flavor but it's totally optional. Now I'm going to add the second piece of patty on the top of it and the healthy breakfast burger or breakfast bagel sandwich is ready to eat. If you like this recipe please give me a thumbs up in the comment section. My YouTube viewers, in this video, I am asking for your support to help spread the message that healthy food can be both delicious and easy to incorporate into your daily life. Mm. Health is wealth, and we truly are what we eat. Mm. My mission is to share simple healthy recipes that anyone can use to improve their lifestyle. By subscribing and sharing this channel, you will help me to reach more people. and together we can build a positive health focused community your supports truly matters thank you